everyone. Stream is starting. Actually, have some. It won't be too long. Not bad. There. Hey, T4. Hi, Ron. Wanted to do a really quick stream today, because we didn't really have much of a stream last night. Okay, it was two hours long. It's not like that's not much. But it wasn't as long as I would have liked, so... Wanted to do a quick stream today. We're going to be farming some Ramako tattoos. As money. Nothing, nothing complicated. Just hanging out and collecting tattoos and hanging out. <laughs> okay, what? Hmm, can't regen hexproof. No. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna not do that one. Russia and uh, it's gonna be annoying now. Oh well. Okay, so we are going to farm some stuff. I also have some Ramico tattoos to gamble, but I figure we might as well collect the tattoos we want first. In gamble. Takes more time. Man, the Vampire Survivor music can be like really chill or really, really excited. Apparently, this is the chill one. Oh. Okay, this is not the chill one. <laughs> hmm. Oh, these are all normal pack density. That's not very good. Uh, actually, it's okay because it's a quant one. If it wasn't a quant one, I would have just rerolled this. Okay, this is too, like, we're on an adventure to kill Ganon. I'm gonna just, uh... <laughs> gonna switch to something a little bit less, uh, that. Yeah, kinda, kinda that. What just happened? Oh, I think my character spawned something. It's like, you got a drop, and then my loot filter hit it because it's not valuable. Oh my gosh, another chance to craft an additional item. Craft. Holy shit, this is the most valuable, if not, this is one of the most valuable crafts in the game. So that's a lot of money already. Yeah, this is from Vampire Survivors. It's a really, really good game. Really good indie game if you like wave defense. It's not that expensive and it has a lot of content. Even the DLC it has is, like, really cheap. And it's continuously updated, so I love the game. I actually did a bunch of content for it on the channel.
This... Wait, what the... Oh, this spawns a boss. Interesting. Why did we get a boss spawning one? Yeah, that is really an interesting part of the game, is that a lot of the stuff is uh, auto-fire. The knives specifically are not auto-fire, and the flowers aren't auto-fire, but most most weapons are auto-fire. Actually, no, the, they're, those are auto-fire, but like you can point them, I mean. I've played it on mobile too, but I think mobile's definitely harder than playing it on PC. So the the controls are just less natural, I feel like. And it's nice to have the finer control of being able to use a mouse and keyboard. At least that's just my opinion. And this is Copper Green Intent, which is one of the better tracks. I've used this in some of my videos before, too. Since YouTube doesn't mind me using it, seems, and Empire Survivors devs don't seem to mind people using it for videos, and I own the soundtrack. If you, if you look at the, uh, if the, if you look at the album art, it will very much remind you of Castlevania. Remember, if you play the game, to be wary of vampires. Oh, we only got four tattoos from that. That was kind of shitty. I mean, the map paid for itself anyways, but... What kind of sad? Three point four div ish. Okay. Up there. I'll go in the corner so I can actually keep it separate. I think I'm picking a bad map because we're not getting any... We don't seem to be getting any high pack density stuff. Not put a number on this one. I don't think that it actually would be worth putting a number on this one. Okay, we are going to wade our way through over here. Boss. And just kill the boss. <laughs> Beware of vampires, or even worse, the survivors.
that. Okay, we need a map that's not going to... That will actually give us some high-density stuff. Now, which one's Crimson Temple? Okay, I like Crimson Temple. Play Crimson Temple. Okay, that actually gives us some high-density packs. That's good. In that case... How's the sound balance between the, uh, the music and my voice, by the way? You should be able to hear me clearly over the music. Usually it, it's fine, but Vampire Survivors is very excitable, as far as the, uh, the music goes. Ah, oh, whatever, I can do this too. Okay. Okay, there we go. I turned it down 12%. Actually, no, that would be closer to 25%. Put that up there. Oh, I need my amber. Awesome, thank you for the help. What? No. Right again. No meteors, please. That's more pack size... More life, then. Okay, Crimson Temple will be a little bit more. Ooh, a Shaman already! Okay, well, that paid for the next four maps. The members. Pretty good. That is why I run the Ramico Embers. This exact reason. It is a very, very good way of farming currency. Because even the shitty drops you can turn into gamble for the better ones. Okay, that's a bit much. A bit much. Wait, what's that? Oh my gosh, we got a Cascading Fortunes and another Shaman. Elvis memory of cascading fortunes is worth oh it's worth nothing. <laughs> Damn it. I thought it was worth something. I should probably clear this map a bit more uh systematically, but I haven't been. <laughs> Wait a minute! Hold on, I fucked something up. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. We actually have chat now on screen. That was supposed to be on screen to begin with. I was trying to clean up my uh, my OBS 
settings, basically, and things are a little bit out of order because of that. Hopefully everything is fine, though, now. Actually, just for the sake of an abundance of caution. Let me check really quickly. Okay, that's not supposed to be like that. That's not supposed to be like that at all. Where's that? Okay. Okay, that's, I mean, that's fine. Still not supposed to be like that. Okay. Okay, that's, that's good. Those are... No. There we go. Okay, that should actually be proper now. The alert boxes were also underneath the overlay. Oops. Yeah, actually... Uh, honestly, I really think you might like Vampire Survivor's aesthetic. Wait, no, you said you already played it. Okay, you already know what it is. The soundtrack was absolutely worth the purchase. And if I like the soundtrack of a game, I try to purchase it so that I can use it. I mean, technically, I can use it on stream irregardless whether I purchase it or not, but I try my absolute best to only use soundtracks that I've purchased. You know, just be good to the development and stuff. Is that the whole map? That's the map. Oh, definitely listen to the OST. It is so, so good. 100%. I'm gonna pause this for a second. There's one or two that are, like, really, really good. Oh, yes, this one. This is... This is It's Raining Minotaurs. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's really, really good. Okay. Next map. Oh, I need my ember. Oops, that's lower than I meant. There we go. That's the volume I wanted that. Oh, another quant one. Good. Quant of strongest monster in the pack is the ideal one for farming tattoos because the the things that drop the tattoos generally are the chieftain, which is the pack leader. I'm going to put uh, Ember of the False God on this one, because Ember of the False God has a tendency to drop extra monster, or extra rare items. Yeah, cool. 
Maybe I should actually be doing strong boxes on Crimson Temple and not shrines. There's not a lot of room for shrines. Very aged in map. So it might just be concentrating the monsters in the right spot, which is fine. I mean, that, that's ideal. Do I get three goes? No, two goes, okay. Ooh, Diamond Shrine. Always crit. One of the better shrines for this. I have to be careful how many corpses I'm picking up, because I now no longer have space in my necropolis, which I did not enter sin empty since last stream, last night. Or in my bank for, for corpses now. I need to try to just pick up the ones that are actually decent and not just pick up all of them. I tend to pick up all of them, just because I want to get the... the uh, Gravekeeper's Boon, which you get from picking up a corpse. I'm gonna leave the corpse on the ground, because I don't want it. This increased physical, not good in most circumstances. Wood wants to get rid of physical, but increase it. Apparently. Unless you're making something like, niche. Ooh, chaos orbs. The like chaos orbs. Ooh. I would love to so sell my veiled orb for 15 div, thank you. Hello, Kadoka. Hi, Kadoka. Doka Matica. The main character is just a stick. For anyone who's familiar with Madoka Matica. <laughs> I feel like a stick that's a magical girl has like a very different vibe than a human that's a magical girl. <laughs> for for some reason, I don't I don't know why. I don't know how warm it is for y'all, but it is... Oh boy, is it warm! I don't have full uh, a full AC in my house either. I'm lying on, like, a little air conditioner. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there was the anime where each country had its own anime character to represent it, and there's uh, Girls und Panzer, which I think is mainly girls as tanks, or tanks as girls, I don't know. I'm cover is <laughs> Please. 
All of these are just normal pack dens. Map that I use. Oh, one of the shitty ones. Okay. Fine. I'm not going to put an ember on this. I'll just waste this one. Actually, quickly. Do this. Worth doing it. See what I'm t I'm doing. And Yeah, I, I remembered that there was the, the reincarnated as a vetting machine shit. I have a hard time believing that it's not bad, but I I do trust you. Yay! We actually have a thing in our stream overlay uh, thing now. That, uh, that bar at the bottom is supposed to be for announcing what the stream is about. Okay, this, this is, we're just going to push through this map. I don't intend to spend too much time in it, being that we have not put an ember on it, because it sucks. The embers aren't so cheap that I want to just, that I want to waste them on non-high-density, non-quantity maps. I've been getting most of the Ramico Embers for around 10c, but most of them are closer to 15 or above, so I'm kind of trying to be somewhat sparing with them. I don't need to be, like, incredibly sparing, but just... I just don't want to waste too much. I do have some div card stuff. App. Kind of nice. Berry seeds? Okay, yeah, uh, it's, that's that's enough to call it on this map. Yes, we got some high density stuff. Oh my gosh, we got high density and pack size increase. Okay, so if I do, let me go get my ember. Okay, so here without modifier decrease. So this is oh, actually, it's going to be a bit harder to. I'm 
Well, no, that's that's more pack size versus increased pack size. So more pack size is better. Drop scourings. I guess I could replace that with something. Sure. All suppression down there. Keep the really dangerous stuff on the really low chance to spawn things. Okay. Yeah, that goes. We should be having a bunch of the, uh... We should have a bunch of Ramico people. This should be, like, really sexy. Oh, I've gotten used to dodging those volatile cores now. Whoa. Wow, I'm getting a le legitimate FPS lag. Of how much shit's going on. Okay, that's better now. Man, ever since we designed the overlay, I've been thinking about... I originally, when I started streaming, I was streaming in 1080p. Because, I mean, 1080p is better than 720p. But, unfortunately, my internet just does not allow for that. I just do not have a good enough internet plan to afford it. And I've been thinking... I've been thinking more about it. And, like, uh... I now really want to get a better internet plan when possible. It's not it's not in the cards right now for straight up financial reasons, but I really would love to, because I would like to actually, actually stream in 1080 and not just record in 1080. Uh, I used to get, like, a whole lot of stuttering and stuff in the video, because I was trying to do too much stuff. Internet was like, nope. Can't handle that. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. Acceleration Shrine! Run! Run! Zoom! Zoom! Oh, okay. I've got to stop for this. Zoom! 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 No more zoom! Eight. Eight. No more zoom? Yeah, more zoom. I'm out of places to zoom, though. <laughs> Damn it. More zoom! Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many of those. Uh, got some nice combination scarabs. Oh, that's good. Bit late to be getting Huck here, but whatever. Streamed with the internet in my old apartment regularly, just have streams disconnect constantly. Yeah. Yeah, it can it can be rough sometimes. Isn't scarce or actually valuable. Modifier tier is viable. Nope. Just, uh, I don't have room for this shit. 
I don't want to trash the ones that are actually valuable either. Yeah, let's try something different. Oh, Unholy Invocation is this one. It's really good. Ooh, more pack size. Cool. Okay, that should be fine. I guess I might as well throw these up on the other high density. I should put something on the other high density. Oh, got some real tanky stuff here now. It's definitely the fault of the Templars. They can be so nasty sometimes. Ooh, we're going to get a bunch of orbs of making this. What are those? Tava. Tava? Tava? Why are we getting Katava embers? Or not embers, um, tattoos. What is going on? Did I put a Katava ember on here instead of a Ramako ember? Someone might have sold me the wrong thing, or I mixed them up. Come on. And you're tanky. Legendary, no legendary. Ah. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's a mess. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a very dangerous mess, and it's just not worth wading into it. Man, that's definitely not a Ramako Ember. Sigh. Okay! Let's be nice about this. How about it? Some of these things are really testy. Oh, also, I, I, I got it off screen. I didn't really talk about it. Uh, but I managed to get an awakened vicious projectile support. Pretty good. Uh, they start like 50C before their level. And I think they're several div after their level. So, kind of excited to see how that goes. I haven't actually checked their price. Doom! Doom time! Doom! 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 Rat. Come back for that. 
Doom. No. No, not dead end. No. No. Let me use my zoom. Yes. Doom. 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 Have too much fun with the acceleration shrines. Oh my gosh, they're so they're so good. Oh no, did I tell someone else to wait a while ago and totally forget about them? I think I did. Oops. <laughs> Need beast. Oh, so not this one? Oops, I forgot about this person ten minutes ago. Can't tell. Right. Most people are just being weird. Still want my tattoos or that pass? No, apparently they still want them. Okay. Well, I do have five Ramico tattoos. I always feel bad when I forget about people, and I am so notorious for that when streaming, because, I mean, you're managing, like, 50 different things that are all happening at the same time. Makes it pretty hard to pay attention to one specific thing over another. After all, my main focus is on the game and chat. <laughs> Minion mods are worth anything? Not really. Don't have the luxury of picking up extra shit. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> Dropped items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Divination card conversion. Div card conversion. Yes. Okay, okay, it's time. Fucking time. Exile. Which of the oops all exiles? And I think domination actually is better for that. Up there. Whatever that is, is going to be good for putting something there, I guess. Put omens there. Sure, why not? Sure. Finally, a div card conversion map. I haven't seen one of these in a while. This is going to be really nice, I think. Let's just change my loot filter. Really? Uh, I'll just use my normal Uber. Not my Uber Uber.
that's mainly just to let me move quickly without having to worry about whatever is falling around. The uh, Uber Uber in. Ooh, just fight ambition. That's for synthesized maps and the risk for Venter's Gamble. Doom! Doom time! Doom! Doom! Ooh! Zoom and quant! Yes! Why are there Nico? Not Nico. Why are there Einhard beasts here? I haven't seen Einhard in a while. Lots of scarabs. I don't know why I'm getting so many scarabs. I probably selected something and just didn't notice. Oh. Wilted Rose. Wilted Rose is good. Hunter's reward for the taming. Nice. Oh my gosh, I'm moving so quickly that my game is genuinely having trouble, or my character's having trouble keeping up with mana because there's just so much going on. Ooh. Oh, there was a red beast on top of me. I did not even notice that. Oh, I apparently missed an exile. Ooh, chaotic dis- Whoa! <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess I kind of forgot about the whole, uh, uh, yeah. I kind of turned off most of what I could see, so it doesn't surprise me that there's so much shit going on underneath all that. Oh, is that an exile? Exile, Fortunate, Valkyrie, and Union. Oh, sexy. Only pick up the really good div cards right now. You'll probably pick up some more, but... There's a yellow beast. Another yellow beast. Is there a rogue XL here? No. Okay. There might be rogue XLs here that I'm just not seeing because I'm blowing them up too fast. That's possible. Doom time! Doom! Yeah. Yeah. Doom. Wait. Ah. Doom. Doom. Ooh, incandescent invitation. Nice timing. Um. <laughs> I love just zooming around the map with acceleration trying. So much fun. Oh. Okay, that was the beast that killed me. Down now. Whoa, shit. Exiles can be so nasty. Oh no, not him! Not the fucking ground slam exile, I know that one. I know that one because it's killed me quite a few times. 
lot more in the past than now, but a lot. <laughs> Got a character's disposition, taming, risk, but ambition, uh, fortunate, Valkyrie, Emperor's Luck, Union, and Glimmer of Hope. Good. And we will open the immediately. Ooh, we got a barracks grip. Good. Uh, nope, six passive. Got our character disposition, Ventors. Oh, oh boy, that is the maximum quant. That is the maximum quant. That, it rolled positive on everything. Oh my gosh, that actually might be like obscenely valuable. Uh, okay, maybe not obscenely valuable. Well, I mean, no, no, it's looking like 20C. That's really, that's a really good roll. Nice. Anyone waiting on me? No. I gotta check every once in a while to make sure I haven't forgotten any. Because, oh boy, that happened. Oh, not you. I want... Wait, what was that? Oh, you're not supposed to be here. In here. Nope. Nope. Sure. And the fortunate's, what, 20C? Yeah. I can be in the 20C, and I can be in the 20C. Those aren't good enough to keep. No, I needed that. Okay, I'm finally catching up to the all the shit in my inventory. Okay. I want to be on that tree. Accompanied by a harbinger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do I want to deal with 50 harbingers? I don't I don't know if I do. Like I've done that one before. It's it's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna rush it, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rush it. I'm not going to take a huge amount of time to get everything done that I possibly could. Oh. oh, nice. Probably not going to end up killing any of the Harbingers. Really. Just going to wade my way through most of the things around here. And get to the boss, kill it, and move on. Well, okay, this one's easy. Oh my gosh, it's spawning so much shit! There's so many Harbingers! Oh my gosh.
Yep, I'll, I'll you go away now. Shoe. Shoe. Carpenter shoe. Ow. Everyone go away. All harbingers go away. This is going to be very far from a full clear, but to get the bulk of the benefit out of the map and move on. Whoa, that is a lot of overlapping explosions. Oh, wow. I think I just got like a 5% chance to get a uh, Chaos Orb on kill for the Eldritch Minions. That's really good. What's that that just dropped? Also, like, everything's leveling up. Oh, my God. I got Exalt. Nice. That's not incredibly valuable, but it's something. About the same as a Fleet Foot. i become so familiar with the names of all the Remico tattoos now. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. New map. Really crappy conversion. Oh, these are all normals. There's <laughs> there's no high density ones. It sucks. Oh okay, well, I guess I'll do a quick boss rush and Back home. Oh, I missed what you said uh, earlier, Transfor, when you said, uh, I was re reincarnated into a socialist society. That's my dream I isekai. I have not actually... I've not heard of that one. That... Is that is that a joke, or is that an actual anime? It's, it's really hard to tell, because there's a lot of really weird animes. <laughs> I've been reading. I've actually been reading something pretty similar to uh, isekai genre, kind kind of in the area. In the uh, towers pop up in the world, and you have to climb the towers to gain fame and fortune, or you get teleported into them against your will. I've been I've been reading a lot of those ones. I started on reading. Uh, I think it's called "This Newbie Is Too Strong," and I've been reading um, something something Dungeon Farmer. Both kind of have like the same feel to them. And oh, I've been meaning to go back to Second Life Ranker as well. That one was really fun. Yeah, most Isekai worlds do put you into like a feudal society, and usually those are not very nice. Because despite 
despite any challenges we might face today, those worlds were worse. A lot worse. And you tend to see a lot of, like, the really nice parts, because the uh, main character, for whatever their benefits are, tend to get in with the nobility. So it's all, like, you're taken care of by maids and stuff, and it's never like, oh, by the way, you're, like, dying. Uh, which, I mean, it wouldn't be very fun if it was just, uh, by the way, you were in poverty in, in the world you came from, and now you're in poverty in this world, too. But... I was actually reading a uh, new isekai that popped up... Uh, a reverse isekai. And usually reverse isekais, I don't... I mean, they're, they're... I mean, usually it's like, oh, you're a fantasy person, you've been brought into our world, and that's interesting. I, I feel like I haven't seen a huge amount of them. But uh, the thing that kind of caught my eye about this one was that the character that gets isekai is not the main character. Uh, the main character is, like, crushing on the character who ends up getting isekai and is trying to get back her crush and try to take care of her crush's body, who currently is inhabited by, like, a snobby noble. Something, something the Duke on Webtoons. It, it just popped up, so it should probably still be, like, heavily advertised. Have to actually go and check. Now I'm curious. Oh, don't kill me, please. It's very hard to multitask. My crush got possessed by the Duke. That's what it's called. I found it kind of cute and interesting. I only just started it, though. I tend to read a lot of isekai-related stuff, or, like, the gates or towers or doors pop up in the real world and everyone becomes awakened, that type of thing. I tend to read a lot of those. I like I like things where people can take their their knowledge and apply it in interesting ways that most people don't think about. I like I like that chance. That's I find that really interesting. Not just the oh well I'm from a different world so I have all of this knowledge and I'm just going to give it to you and praise me forever. Like, there's actually, um, there's more actually to it than that. Thunder I barely touched because it's there, uh, it's just everywhere, but I do remember seeing one that was kind of funny to me. Like, your boy Kong Ming... And it was about a fine, a famous Chinese strategist named. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Like 200 AD, when, and he's in the modern age, but I guess he's a DJ. That sounds kind of cute, actually. <laughs> Also, the name rings a bell, not like the name of the of the uh, story, but like the name of the uh, person.
Yep, that is exactly what it is called. Your boy Kong Ming. Oh, it actually has an anime, too. From 2022. Huh. Huh, yeah, that is, uh... That actually sounds really interesting, and I'm going to add it to my list. Cool. Thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, the I'm familiar with the uh, Three Kingdoms era. Uh, vaguely familiar, I should say. Honestly, I've become way more familiar with Korean history now, just because I've been I read so many manhwa instead of manga. Because manhwa is Korean and manga is Japanese. I also like the structure of manhwa a bit better. It tends to be more abstract. There we go. Okay, there's increased quant. Sure, let's go with that. I'm probably going to go until I run out of embers, and then we're going to gamble what we have and see what we get. Yeah, it's uh, apparently a 12-episode anime. If you check it out, I'd love to hear what you think some other point. Just pop into chat and uh, and give your report, if you will. <laughs> Obviously, you don't have to, but uh, I certainly would love it. I'm mostly just trying to get over the fact that every single uh, manhwa I read has Sun Wukong in it. Ah, Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. You might have heard of him. Yes, yes, I heard of him in the last five manhwa I read. <laughs> But you, you start to, like, kind of, if you read enough of it, you start to kind of develop this uh, vague understanding of Korean history. Because, I mean, if, <laughs> if it just keeps coming up over and over, it's like, oh, yes, this is this, this one was uh, introduction of the Seven Branch Sword.
Because, I mean, why you... Why would you have a cool manga that involves sword fighting and not involve the seven branch sword in it? Of course, it makes sense. It is a really cool looking sword. Actually, I wonder what it looks like in real life. Yeah, I'm assuming that it's not just a myth. It's a job at McRonald's. I actually was recommended by someone recently to watch The Devil's a Part-Timer. It, it makes sense to, ha to be like, hey, this is a cool character, let's put them in. It's just, it's unfortunate that every single one is that. <laughs> like, no. I know who he is! Stop! At some point, it's just gonna be like... Oh, yes. <laughs> I am Sun Wukong, and I have been reincarnated <laughs> as a part-timer. How do I... How do you do the thumbs up emoji? Wait, did I already clear this map? Oh my gosh, I cleared that map so quickly that my brain didn't even recognize what was happening. I think I have... one more of these. I guess it's just that one. I might do Alva's Cascading Fortunes. That one's kind of fun. Hmm, let's pick Acid Caverns. Acid Caverns. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Ooh. Launch or chance for the pack team magic. I think. Give it dead. And high, high pack chance one. Give two. Black Scythe people. They are kind of dangerous, so I have to be kind of careful. Okay, what do I want to put under low? Okay, that. Sure, I... I... <laughs> I've lost the will to, like, go through and swap things, swap around which, uh, things I'm using in the lantern a bit. <laughs> Gotten kind of used to it. It's just like, well, whatever. And I'm starting to get to the point where I steamroll a lot of it anyways, so... I do have to be careful about adding the, uh... the expedition creatures, though, because they tend to be really nasty. And they're also pretty resistant to this particular build, because their... expedition tends to be strong against... Ooh, Shaman! Tends to be strong against uh, a large amount of small hits. 
because most of the expedition creatures have ward, and ward basically, depending how quickly it regenerates, it tends to just like chop off a certain amount of damage from each hit. Which is what can make it kind of nasty to work with. Thankfully, I have like kind of a nice, nice middle ground ish situation going on here, but. Okay. Creature. Thought I left behind one of the uh, Ramako bosses. Don't want to do that. That can be worth a lot of money. Even leave behind a single one of those unique creatures. Don't really want to lose any of those. Also, more rarity. Not more rarity, more quantity. That's good. Always helps. Can I get some more altars with quantity, please? Give me more quant. Give it to me. Give it to me. Wait, do I not have the bonuses to shrines on this particular setup? I don't think I do. Oh. Well, that's going to make my shrines a lot less useful. That's unfortunate. Uh, scarabs or dip cards? Dip cards. I guess this is going to be the last map before we do our big gamble. Oh. We got it to dust. That's good. I think it's to dust, not from dust. That's to dust, okay. Oh, it mineraled minimum da- or yeah. It mineraled min minion damage. That's not good. Yeah, it rolled pretty nice on movement speed, but no, it's not worth anything. Uh, maybe I can corrupt it and do or something. Also, PSA for anyone who's still playing this league, if you did a bunch with the, uh, if you used a lot of your embers that you were getting, you would have gotten a lot of expedition embers at some point. Uh, you probably have a lot of expedition currency that is just stacked up, like, to buy stuff from the expedition vendors. You should definitely look into that, because there's a good chance that you have, like, thousands of expedition currency stacked up. I did. And I, t I got a bunch of, uh, I got at least 50c out, out of it. I don't know if it was worth the time to go through, but... I got some stuff. Oh, Quant. Oh, even if it kills me. I don't care. I just need more Quant. Put the decoy totem over there. And you're dead. Yeah, I had, like, this slight inkling when I was standing there that that was going to be a bad plan. But I just didn't... Just didn't react fast enough. Ugh... <sighs> Wait, the devil is a part-timer is over 10 years old? 
or am I confused? Maybe I'm confused. I do feel like it's been around a while, but it doesn't feel like it's been 10 years. Maybe I'm wrong. Is that... Oh, that's the entire map. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so like the light novel got an expansion after that long, or...? Okay. Cool. Oh, that's already that's already corrupted. Darn it. I was gonna try corrupting that. Okay, we going to change a little bit. Okay. I'll find something nice and chill. Oh, wow, yeah, that is a, a lot, then. Calculate. Okay, in the top right hand corner we have our information as to what we have spent and so on. We have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 100. Oh, let's deal with this first. I went to D&D mode for a second. 10, 20, 30, no. 50, 100, 150, 
Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so we are going to gamble 413C worth of tattoos here, as you can see in the top right-hand corner. That's our investment. I'm going to put a few of those back just to make enough room so we can actually do things for stuff. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, we got seven Ramako Shamans already. Those are our Shamans, and these are our Fleet Foots. Well, okay, the Shamans on their own are already 280 C. And we've only gone through, like, a fraction of what we have. Good. I uh, want to use up any of the ones I'm supposed to. Okay. And finally, let's see what we ended up with. That goes back in because they don't matter. Okay, so we ended up with 15 Ramako Shamans from that. At 39C apiece, that is 585C return. Plus, we're going to get, at 5C apiece for the Fleet Foots, we're going to get 100C in total. Bringing our return to... 685C. Minus our investment of 413. We made a profit of 272, so that is two and a half div profit. For really not much time, honestly. I'm going to do this the standard way I do it. So, I'm going to list the this one. And C, because that's how much it's worth. This one is going to be two divine to five of them. Then for the fleet foots, they are going to be five C apiece. And half. People are saying for 1 to 10. That's not a very good deal. But, I mean, if you want to spend Divine... Well, I guess Divines aren't really stable right now. They're coming in at 110, and they might drop below that. So, I, I understand people wanting to be kind of careful. Okay, I'll do 1 to 11. So, 1 Divine gets you 11 of these, and I have 22 of them, so that fits fine. So, I have it priced in Divine Currency and Chaos Currency. I tend to find that that is an uh, efficient way of doing it. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, that yeah, we've been going for over an hour and a half now. Well, thank you all for coming to this really short stream. I really appreciate it. I know last night wasn't really 
very long or anything. I, I think I was, like, really tired or something last night. It just... <laughs> I died a lot, and I'm pretty sure I just... My brain was just too frazzled, and I didn't realize it. Ugh. I'm feeling much better today, though. This was awesome. We just made so much money, and really getting to the point where I'm going to be able to afford buying a level 100. It's probably going to take 28 div, realistically. Because it's it took me two and a half uh, sets of five-way runs to get from 98 to 99. And if, if it doubles, I'm going to need 35 div. But assuming that it only goes from two and a half to four sets, which are they're sets of five and they're seven div apiece. Assuming that I should be fine, if worst comes to worst, if I need five sets, it, like if the XP amount doubles, then if I sell these stuff, I should have just barely enough. And then we'll be level 100. We'll have our last, our last point, and then we can never, ever, 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 ever worry about XP again, because it's awful <laughs> to do that. Like, I know some people don't care, but I tend to get stressed about it, so I like to pay other players to just help me run through stuff in their, with their special efficient builds and just go for it there, because I find making money is much easier than making the XP and keeping the XP, most importantly. Anyways, we will be having a VOD come out today, and I guess this VOD will come out tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have time to get a video out on the Highlight channel today. We'll, we'll see what I can do. Unless I already have a video coming up, but I don't think I do. Uh, we will have another video coming out on Monday, and then our stream is on Tuesday at 2.30pm PST, 5.30pm EST. Thank you all so much for coming today. I appreciate you all very much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great weekend. Bye.